Hi everybody, welcome to week 11 of our YouTube online classes. This week we're going to be focusing on our hips and our shoulders, so working on some hip rotation, some shoulder mobility um, and working towards Gomukhasana cow face pose later on. First of all we're going to start the class with some pranayama. So we're going to spend around 10 minutes working on the breath. So if you'd like to come into a lying down position, lie down on your backs, have the knees bent, soles of the feet on the floor, and then allow the knees to come together so the legs feel fully supported. Tuck the tailbone under and move the shoulder blades so the whole of the back feels comfortably supported by the floor. Move your shoulders away from your ears. The arms can just rest down by the sides for now. Resting the head evenly at the top of the neck and then gently closing the eyes. Making any small movements you need to to make your body completely comfortable. Becoming aware of the breathing. Anytime you find the mind elsewhere, just let those thoughts float away. Bringing your awareness back to your breathing. So breathing in and out through the nose. And every time you breathe out, the breath becomes a little steadier, the mind a little calmer. beginning to take control of the breath now, taking the breath down into a place just behind your belly button. So if you can picture in your mind's eye that place about an inch behind your belly button, directing the breath to that place. And as you breathe out, feel that you're breathing out from that place deep inside your body. Noticing any movements as you take the breath deep down into your body, notice perhaps a rise and fall of the abdominal region. And then filling the breath from the bottom and then the middle and then the top and emptying the lungs from the bottom and then the middle and the top. So a couple more deep full breaths like that, filling the lungs from the bottom to the middle to the top. And emptying the lungs from the bottom, and then the middle and then the top. Good. Now taking the hands and placing the hands on the rib cage. You can either cut the rib cage with the hands or if it feels more comfortable in the shoulders and the wrists, tuck the fingers under and have the backs of the fingers in contact with the middle of the rib cage. And then once again, with your eyes closed, feel that you can breathe into your hands. So you may notice a slight movement in the rib cage as you breathe in and as you breathe out. We're breathing into the mid chest now. Good, so continuing to breathe into the mid chest region. Take your arms out to the sides of your body with the palms facing up. So the arms are shoulder height, palms facing up. Continuing to breathe in the mid chest. And the next time you breathe out, allow the arms to lift up to the ceiling so the palms come towards each other. You can touch the palms together if that feels okay. And as you breathe in, take the arms back out to the side. Breathing out, arms come together in front of you. And breathing in, arms come out to the side. So continue to breathe in that way 
mid chest breathing, Madhyam Pranayama. As you breathe out, the arms come together. And as you breathe in, the arms separate and come towards the floor. Keeping the arms straight. And with the eyes closed, begin to feel as though it's the breath that's guiding the arms. So the arms simply move as an extension of your mid-chest breathing. And the next time you breathe in, just allow the arms to relax down by your sides. But continue to breathe into the mid chest. Taking the awareness around the mid chest, from the front to the sides to the back on the in breath. And the back, sides, front of the mid chest on the out breath. Breathing in, mid chest, front, sides, back. And breathing out, mid chest, back, sides, front. Arms resting down by your sides now. Simply rotating the awareness around the ribcage with each breath. And then releasing the control of the breath, allow the breath to flow wherever it naturally wants to flow. But take some time with your eyes still gently closed, noticing any changes, perhaps in changes in where you feel the breath. And perhaps the breath feels a little calmer, more steady. Any changes to the way that you feel. Gently taking a stretch out in any way that feels nice, perhaps draw the knees up onto the chest, move the back against the mat, and then rolling over onto your side and using your hands to help you to come up into cat position. So the knees are under the hips, the wrists are under the shoulders, and we're going to begin to work and mobilise the spine. So as you breathe in, lift the tailbone, shrug the shoulders back and down, lift the head. And as you breathe out, tuck the tailbone, lift the upper back to the ceiling and the head comes between the arms. Breathing in, moving from the tailbone all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. Breathing out, tailbone tucks under, rounding your back and the head comes down. So continuing to breathe in that way, using your breath as a guide. And after a few rounds, feeling as though the spine can move independently in each of those sections. So the lumbar spine, the mid spine and the upper spine. As you breathe in and as you breathe out. Then 
coming to a neutral cat, we're going to do a posture called threading the needle. So lift your right hand and we're going to thread the right hand underneath the body in between the left wrist and the left knee. Slide the hand along the floor until the whole of the right arm rests on the floor and the side of your head rests down the floor. The left hand can stay on the mat. Check in with your knees and see that there's equal contact between both knees. So you might have slipped over to one side, just bring the hip back into line. And enjoy a gentle twist here. Make sure your neck's comfortable. And then pushing into your left hand, coming back into cat. And then taking your left hand underneath the right side of the body. Left arm down onto the floor. Left side of the face on the floor. Taking a gentle twist to the other side. Making sure once more that the hips are equal, as equal weight through the knees. Pushing through your right hand, lifting yourselves back into cat. There's a gentle tone in the abdomen, so keep your belly drawing into your spine. We're going to lift the right leg behind, stretching the right leg out behind you, lifting up gently through your shoulders so that you're not dropping into your shoulders gently pushing through your hands. And if this feels okay, you can also lift the left hand in front. So right leg, left hand. Gaze towards the left fingers or keep the gaze down towards the floor. Keep pushing through your right hand. And then lower the hand, lower the knee and go to the other side. So the left leg lifts behind. Keep the belly drawn in, remember. Keep pushing through your left hand as your right hand lifts active through the shoulders, gaze is either towards the right fingertips or down towards the floor, whichever is most comfortable in your neck. And then take the hand down and take the knee down. So hips stay over the knees and you can have a feeling that if you rock back and forwards in cat and you move your hips back and forward, you can feel if you move back, you feel the top of the shin bone. And if you move forward, you feel you come onto your kneecaps. Come into a place in between the two. If your knees don't like this and it feels too sensitive, take a blanket underneath your knees. And we're gonna walk the hands away from the knees, but keep the knees in that same position. Keep walking the hands away, keep the arms straight or with a very small bend in the elbows. And when you feel that you've stretched as much as you can, begin to sink the chest down towards the floor. You can either look towards the fingers or you can rest the forehead down on the floor, but avoid sinking all of your weight into your head. We want to begin to open under the armpits. If this is super easy for you, come up onto your fingertips and create some more space for you to sink into here. Good. Begin to walk the hands back to the knees. Sorry, into cat. Tuck the toes under. Swing the hips back towards the heels, lifting up into downward facing dog and walking the feet in towards the hands. Take the hands to the knees, breathing in and coming into a standing position, Tadasana.